trap no because it won't fit traveling lights it's gonna drive like this this is crazy bye guys arrived at the Grand Hyatt in Fukuoka. Alrighty. And we got a little what is it? Matcha something, a little dessert. Alrighty. It's time. Fukuoka. Just woke up. This is the view. It looks a little bit great today, but that will not impact or excitement of the day because we are going to head to our matcha farms today, the Nekohama matcha farms, and we have never been here physically. So that is just going to be really excited to see the whole process, see how everything has been done, how the green tea plants look like. We are in the fall. Normally the leaves get harvested in the spring. Obviously, how it looks like kind of changes over time a lot but we're just so stoked to be here to really see you know where Nikohama comes from and of course we'll take you guys with um we just finished breakfast so we're gonna i need to change quickly and then yeah we're going to head out Business continues. We just made it to the train station. We're gonna hop into a bus right now and do another one and a half hours. It is quite a journey on the way to this farm. It's a school bus party. Get my own rope. So much space. I know it's great. What was your favorite part so far on the trip, and what was your least favorite part of the trip? Train station so bad. Train station so bad. What was your least favorite? Least favorite part might have been trying some matcha desserts. <laughs> I don't have much of a sweet tooth already, but it was like the amount of matcha desserts that just like didn't taste good to me. Yeah, it was a lot. Nico, what was your favorite part? Wandering all the different cities we've been in, you know, just exploring on my own, all the different places. And what was your least favorite? Jet lag. I can agree with both of those. The matcha desserts were rough. We had some really good laughs yeah. at those places, just trying all this stuff out, and honestly, that was really fun yesterday. Yeah. Um, Okay, we just arrived at the producer's place and we got like a welcome drink and we got like <laughs> some food, giving a very warm welcome, which is really amazing. And then I guess after the second lunch, we're gonna walk outside and stuff, but the food looks incredible. <laughs> Welcome drink fuel for today. This is the good stuff. Strawberry is bigger and big fish. I'll take a slice of that one. <laughs> you can't eat these, huh? No.
finished at the farm, we really need to rush to the train station now because we're pretty late. But this was so incredible to kind of see everything come together, to be on the farm and just, wow. It was an amazing experience, no? It was incredible. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let's go in our school bus. Right on time. Well, you know, almost. Good morning. Woke up to a sunny day here in Fukuoka. We are getting ready right now because we're gonna go to the gym. I feel we haven't gone to the gym in the last few days. And it always makes me so, so happy if a hotel has a good gym. So that's what we're going to do right now. They apparently also have a really beautiful and big spa and pool. So I might go check that out too. If I can make it in time before breakfast. I definitely really need it. You know what it is? I try to kind of stick to these type of routines while I'm traveling. But sometimes it's just not really possible with the schedule. And that's completely fine. So I'm walking around a lot. And some days I squeeze in a workout. And some days... That doesn't really work. Alrighty, vamos. Alrighty guys, finished the gym and just got ready. We're going to head out. I wore this top in my house tour video and I think I've never got so many questions on where it's from because it's like this short sleeve with padding. It's from Valencia. And then I got this new bag from Mansour Gabriel. It's really beautiful leather and the color is like perfect green together. So we are gonna head out, shoot some content um, for Nakohama. Grab some lunch, just kind of discover Fukuoka a little bit. Let's go. Squad is here. It is so worth you. about to walk into what is it called Ichiran. Ichiran. Ichiran and it's supposed to be one of the most famous ramen here in Fukuoka super super popular like the reviews are outrageous I went last night with Max I didn't have the ramen Max did and it's a very interesting setting it's all like separate little not rooms but like seats it's I don't know it's bizarre so let's go in oh wait you first need to order on the machine huh Okay, so you kind of need to be quiet here and on here they have these little blocks where you can communicate on. <laughs> Looks like everyone is voting, but we're not. Hi, Jesse. I mean, it's fine. Thank you. I'm supposed to like stir it a little. We're getting some shots here in the park and it is so beautiful and so sunny here. It's like, look at that. With this one, we'll just get you in the light. And we'll that looks really pretty. The lighting here is insane. Who did you see? Jesse is hand modeling right there. That would be cool with that on the background. Mm. 
Yeah, we're losing light. We only have a little left. We needed a white shirt to bounce off some uh, light, so we got Jesse doing that. And then the glass a little bit out there, like you're choosing to a higher power. Yes. Love that. Can we okay, get it? show me the photo. We'll have to edit it a bit in post, but. Can we get it? <laughs> Alrighty. We are ready for another ad adventure. We're in this cute little track suit. Our bus is here. Today we are actually gonna go to our matcha factory facility. So once the green tea leaf is all grinded up, steamed, goes through the whole process, it actually goes to another place where it gets grinded and where it actually transformed into matcha powder. So that's what we're going to see today. We're gonna drive like I feel I think one and a half hour out of the city here. So yeah, busy busy. Good morning. Good morning. As soon as I as soon as I had uh for my break. and we're starting off with a nice lime food here. It is just um, such wholesome ingredients and I think they all like, it's all like locally sourced. It looks absolutely incredible. And also the... Wow, look at all the desserts. Cool. It's like a brownie. This one really if tastes this like matcha. Like this it. looks delightful. We just finished lunch. Essie and I are gonna go with Nico into the facility and see all the matcha grinders. So. <laughs> It was really fascinating to see through how many steps matcha actually goes through before it is a finished process. Also to really see the care the Japanese have here for the actual product, for the tencha, for the green tea leaf, to really reach the highest quality possible. This was really special to see, to witness, so next time we're making matcha, we know all the love that goes into it. We're all done. We got our tours in Japan. We're satisfied. Wrapping it up in Fukuoka. Ichi. Okay. 